Hey guys, welcome back to our channel CISA Academy. This is a series on previous year gate as well as IES questions on soil mechanics. Let's get started. So our first question is, which one of the following relations is not is not correct? So let's see. So we know that E equal to n by 1 minus n so this relation is correct we know that gamma sat equal to g plus e by 1 plus e into gamma w and uh, we don't know this relation so keep it like that only and we know that degree of saturation equal to w g by e therefore e equal to w g by yes so this answer also right so the remaining answer will be the answer so n equal to e by 1 minus e is not a correct relation this relation look like this n equal to e by 1 plus e this is the relation so here it is wrong so that's why this is the answer because he asked which of which one of the following relations is not correct so that's why that is the answer so the next question is if the porosity of your soil sample is 20 percent the void ratio is okay so from from this relation e equal to n by 1 minus n that equal to what is n 20 percent means 0 0.2 0 0.2 by 1 minus 0.2 that equal to 0.2 by 0.8 so that is 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4 therefore it is 0.25 the void ratio and specific gravity of a soil are 0.65 so he given that E equal to 0 0.65 and G equal to 2.72 respectively the degree of saturation corresponding to water content so water content also given water content equal to 20 percent that implies 0.2 so therefore he want degree of saturation degree of saturation s equal to W G by E that implies what is w 0 0.2 multiplied by g 2.72 by e 0 0.65 that equal to 0 0.2 multiplied by 2.72 by 0 0.65 so it is 83.5 0 0.8369 that equal to 83.69 percent so this is the answer okay the next question is a saturated soil mass has a total density 22 kilo newton meter cube and a water content of 10 percent the bulk density and dry density of this soil are okay so it means that he said that a saturated soil mass has total density total density means bulk density that is 22 so he want bulk density and dry density so dry density there is a relation between bulk density and dry density why because we know that bulk density equal to g gamma w by 1 plus e multiplied by 1 plus w which is so this g gamma w by 1 plus e is gamma d which is dry density so dry density multiplied by 1 plus w so we want to find gamma d so gamma d equal to gamma b by 1 plus w which is 22 by 
one plus so he given that water content is 10% that is 0.1 so that equal to 22 by 1.1 which is 20 so the answer is the bulk density is 22 and the dry density is 20 so answer will be this dry density uh, bulk density is 22 and dry density is 20 and the next question is the water content of a saturated soil and specific gravity of soil solids were to be were found to be 30 percent and 2.7 respectively assumed the unit weight of water to be 10 kilonewton per meter cube the saturated unit weight and the void ratio of the soil are okay so first you have to find void ratio okay so we know that degree of saturation equal to w g by e he said that the water content of a saturated soil so if i assume that if it is fully saturated then degree of saturation is 1 therefore e equal to w g which is what is w water content water content equal to 0.3 multiplied by what is g 2.7 which is 0 0.3 multiplied by 2.7 that is 0. Point, 0 0.81 so void ratio is 0. 0.81 so you can take this as your answer but let's see what the um, unit weight of uh, for saturated unit weight is so saturated unit weight gamma sat equal to g plus e by 1 plus e multiplied by gamma w that equal to what is g 2.7 plus 0.81 by 1 plus 0 0.81 multiplied by 10 that equal to so 2.7 plus 0 0.81 by 1 plus 0 0.81 multiplied by 10 which is nineteen point three nine two approximately nineteen point four which is comma set so the answer is this okay Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.